And first at five today, a Bardstown teacher and assistant football coach was fired and arrested this morning. WDRB investigative reporter Valerie Chin has been following this story and reveals what Jeremy Dale is accused of doing and what his school records show. 49 year old Jeremy Dale was a Barstown High School teacher and assistant football coach and was just fired after his arrest. WDRB started looking into him after he was placed on administrative leave. His arrest report says he's charged with two counts of sexual abuse against a Bardstown High School female student and one count of harassment with physical contact against female students. The arrest report says over six months the sex abuse happened twice. WDRB obtained this letter when Dale was notified of a suspension with pay on February 1st. The superintendent told Dale that the district received six student reports of multiple alleged sexual harassment. The letter says the reports involved inappropriate comments, other inappropriate communication, and unwanted touching. It's still an ongoing investigation even though we've placed some charges, so we're not going to go into basically the investigative techniques of what we're doing. And do you think there are more victims? I think there's a possibility of more victims. Investigators say after a warrant was taken out for Dale's arrest, Dale turned himself into police Monday morning. And what did he say? Nothing. He didn't want to give a police interview? No interview. interview. Yeah, we asked if he would like to uh, answer some questions and no. According to his personnel file, Dale started working for the district in 1999 and was reprimanded twice. In 2009, a letter from the Bardstown High School principal says Dale pushed a student on the soccer team in front of the team and put his hand on the student's chin. And the reprimand says at no time was a teacher to place their hands on a student. And in 2006, this letter says Dale made a comment about some students in his class having homosexual tendencies. The letter says Dale apologized to the boys. As for the most recent case and arrest. We're investigating this. We take all allegations like this very seriously. And if it is going on, we, we definitely want to uh, charge that person, get them out of the system. They don't need to be around the children. Barstown City Schools released a statement saying, in part, our most important responsibility is the safety and well-being of the students we serve. We have no tolerance for any actions that harm or could potentially harm our students. Our district fully cooperated with the Barstown City Police Department and will continue to do so as long as needed. Barstown Police say if anyone has information about this case to contact them. With photojournalist Frank Stamper, Valerie Chen, WDRB News.